There's so many ways to get more views on your YouTube channel, including having a catchy thumbnail. And I'm going to show you how to do that for free right now. What's up, everyone? It's Brandon Melvin bringing you the real estate tip of the week for all you realtors out there. Now, you don't have to be a realtor to learn how to create a catchy and very attractive thumbnail. All the information and tools we're about to go over are free for everyone and can be used for anyone in their YouTube channel. Let's get into it. First, what you'll want to do is open Canva. If you don't have an account, go ahead, create one. If you do, log in, it is free. At the top right, you'll see where it says create a design. Click on that. And for this specific search, we are going to do a YouTube thumbnail. If it doesn't come up right here, just search for it. Click on that. When that populates, you'll have the correct size that you'll need for YouTube. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either have a solid background and potentially have a split color. We'll go over that or you can have a background image and then overlay on top of that. We'll do that one first. So uh, a site that you need to know is unsplash.com. You can get all kinds of free images. And because I'm in real estate, I'm gonna search for something like a kitchen. That's something that I would be using. So here you can see a few designs that might be interesting to buyers and sellers when I'm trying to market to them. So uh, we'll just click on this one and download it. Now what I'll do is go to uploads and I will upload the media. Once that populates, I'll click it and it'll go into the backdrop and we'll resize it so that it fits the whole page. And now we have our backdrop to start with. Next, what you'll need is an image of yourself. You can either upload one to your computer or go ahead and take a screenshot and then edit that in the next software that we're about to use. Once you have your image, you wanna to go to this website, photoscissors.com. You'll upload the image and that's when we're going to cut out the background so that it'll just have you and your pretty little face. Here's an image I took with a for sale sign and you can see it did a pretty good job taking me out of the background. I'm going to have to clean this up a little bit and maybe cut the image off short, uh, but that's not a problem. How to do that is you would zoom in on this side and then you do click the erase button and you can go through here and you can see how I'm cleaning it up. I'll do that, finish it up and then also chop the image which you can do by zooming in here. Now I don't have any of the rest of this that's gonna be downloaded. So uh, when you have it like you want it to, click download. Now because this software is free, you can either download it in low resolution, which is free, or you can purchase their program. This looks pretty good, so we're gonna go with the low resolution. Now go back to Canva, and the same process, you'll go to uploads and upload the media, go to your downloads and put that image in there, and you can see I'm right here. Now before you drop your image in there, what I do recommend is having a solid background for at least part of this image so you pop. Uh, if you are going with the uh, picture background. So let's go over to elements and you can use some of the free shapes, either a square or a circle. Let's go with the circle, drop it in there, resize it so that it's gonna take up most of the image. Once you have this to the size that you'd like, you can change the color. Let's go with blue, I like that. And then you can also go to this button and change the transparency to less or more. Have it uh, more towards the higher end, but then that way you can still see a little bit of the background and yourself when you do put your image in there, it will pop. Okay, so you wanna go back to your uploads, drop your picture in there, and then resize it appropriately. And let's go ahead, you can see it's kind of dull here. I wanna change this so that it stands out more. So we'll edit the image. And I also wanna add a shadow to this so again it pops more. So we'll click shadows and then go to glow and then click it one more time so that we can change this. I do like to use white as the outline and you can see you can change the size of it to whatever you'd like. I like to keep it around um, eight or so and then the transparency, bring it up to around 88, 90 and then the blur factor, I wanna reduce that to a minimum around three or four and uh, we're good to go on that aspect. You'll also notice that my image is still a little blurry. We'll apply that first and then you can also go to uh, change the filter. You can either choose one of the ones that they have uh, available for you, or you can adjust it yourself, whichever you prefer. And you can see that looks a little bit better already. Once you have it how you like it, we can go to the next step, which would be adding the text appropriate to the video. What you wanna do for that is also add another element. You can put a square and then resize that and maybe put that up at the top. And you may even wanna change the color of that just so that it stands out as well. So we can go to black. You can change the transparency just a little bit as well. Click out of that 
and then we'll add text to that box. Click the text, hit add a heading, and then you can resize that once we bring it in here. And then whatever the text is that you're looking to write, in this instance, I'll just say list with me for top dollar. And you can see I need to resize my box. Now that we have that resized, let's go ahead and change the text color. You wanna make sure you click on the text, click on this button here, and we can either drop white or maybe blue. It would go with it well. I think white stands out a little more, so we'll go with that. Now you can change the uh, font as well, highlighting that, whatever you uh, feel is uh, more catchy, more your style. Now one more thing I might recommend to have your thumbnail stick out just a little bit more than everyone else's is to add one more element. You would click a line and then take this, extend it to where it's going to reach all ends of this thumbnail, bring it to the top. We can duplicate that, copy, and then paste it, and then drop it down to the bottom. And you wanna do that where it outlines the sides as well. Now you can see I have it all the way surrounding the thumbnail and it's gonna pop just a little bit more. Now we can go ahead and download this and to put it on there best, you'll need a JPEG, so JPG, click that one and download it. Now Canva is gonna obviously try and get you to use some of their services, which you can if you'd like, but in this instance, we don't need to. And then in your downloads, you have the thumbnail created. That's how you create a thumbnail with an image in the background. If you wanted to do just a flat background, it's pretty simple, same steps. Let's just go ahead and click on this background. We'll delete it. Now when you first start, your background will be blank and you would want to change the color, whatever you want in that aspect. Let's just choose a different shade of blue. And so you would go through the entire process just with this here. You might actually want to make your text larger. And this uh, box in the background, you may not even need that at this point. Let's delete that. All right, now as you can see, I went ahead and made the text larger and capitalized it all so it stands out more. Uh, just so you know, if the text doesn't necessarily fit on there, you can use a couple of these items here. You can change the letter spacing. You can change the line spacing so it's larger or smaller in that aspect as well. Uh, just FYI, some really cool things that you can do with it. And then once again, you'll want to download this and you have this as your thumbnail for your YouTube video. As usual, if you've enjoyed this content and found it helpful, go ahead, hit that like button, then subscribe and hit the bell. That way you get notified every single time I put out new content. We'll see you next time.